Did you know you can use foot switches with certain electronic drum modules? You can, and there's a lot of really interesting things to do with this. That's coming up. What's up guys, Justin Greenwald here, welcome to 65 Drums. This is the place to keep on top of all things eDrum related, so consider subscribing if you haven't yet. So today I'm talking about foot switches with your electronic drum module. Unfortunately, not all electronic drum modules let you connect one of these to them. The ones that I know for sure that this works with are the Roland TD-10, the TD-20, the TD-30, the TD-50, the Yamaha DTX Extreme 1, and two. Those are the ones I know for sure that work. If you happen to have one of the drum modules I listed, turn it around and take a look at all the inputs on the back. You'll see one that says foot switch. Find any ordinary quarter inch stereo cable, plug it from that input to a foot switch. Now it has to be stereo because if you use a mono cable, you can't use all the functions of a foot switch. You can only advance certain options, not go backwards. So what you want to do is put one of these next to your hi-hat or next to your kick drum pedal, wherever you want to put it. And when you hit it with your foot, that advances a kit or goes back a kit or advances a chain or goes back a chain. Or this is really cool. Use it as a hi-hat drop clutch. So you press one button. Now you've got a closed hi-hat sound and you don't have to hold down the hi-hat pedal with your foot. Some drum modules only let you change like a handful of things. And then some drum modules let you change like a dozen different things. I've actually dug into the manuals of each of the modules I listed and I'm gonna go through what each of them can do. Let's start off with the Yamaha DTX Extreme. This is the original, there's actually no number at the end of it, but it is the first one. So you can use it as a hi-hat controller, you can use it as a kick pedal, you can do a kit select up and down, you can start and stop a song, and you can use it with some MIDI controller options. I'll leave on the screen what all it's capable of. Now the DTX Extreme 2 lets you use the controller as a hi-hat clutch. You can start and stop a click track, kit select up and down, switch between chains of kits, disable a pad of your choice, some MIDI stuff, and you can use it as a kick drum trigger. If we look at the Roland TD-10 drum module, it's pretty limited. You can go up a kit and down a kit, up a chain and down a chain, and pattern select slash play. The TD-20 lets you do all the things the TD-10 did, and they added the features of some volume selections and X-Stick. X-Stick lets you switch between rim click and rim shot because in a roll and drum module, you kind of have to do that, unfortunately. In the TD-30, they add a bunch of new things. You can turn effects on and off. You can turn ambience on and off. You can turn on the snare strainer or turn it back off. Hi-hat drop clutch, pattern play select, song select, chain up and down, and kit up and down. Now, if you're wondering what kind of foot controller you need to use, the ones that I've gotten working are by Digitech, the GNC FX and the FS3X. Man, I don't know why that's like a tongue twister. As long as it says foot controller on it, you're probably good to go. And as long as it only has one input and it usually has like three buttons on it, only two of them will work up and down. And usually it's the two left buttons. So on this one, it's stop and undo and record. On this foot controller, it's mode and down. Now there are a lot of different strategies on where you can put these foot controllers. My favorite place to put it is next to the hi-hat somewhere. You'll probably wanna experiment with how you angle these as well. For example, I put this one parallel to my hi-hat pedal and that was a little bit harder than putting it like sideways like this so I could actually touch it with my heel and switch kits that way. Also be careful because if you rest your foot on the button too long, it will actually advance like two or three kits. So whenever you wanna switch anything, you gotta press this really, really fast and let go of the button right away. You can also place this next to your kick drum pedal, but honestly, if you really think about it, you're always using your right foot to play the kick drum. You never have time to actually press any other device. And you kind of have to train your brain. This takes practice because you're not used to pressing buttons with your foot. It's gonna take a little bit of muscle memory to get it down, but it's cool to have as an option. So here's an example of me switching between kits on the fly.
pretty cool, right? This is also fun if you want to do drum covers. So maybe you want to play kit number one for the verse, number two for the chorus. You can definitely do that. And if you're in a chain, when you advance up and down, you're advancing up and down within that chain. The foot controller is self-aware due to the context of whatever menu you're in, which is great. And remember, you can use this for more than just switching between kits. You can use this as a hi-hat drop clutch, snare strainer on and off. Uh, ambience on and off. It just depends on what kind of controls your drum module gives you. You might not use it every day, but it's great to know it's an option. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys in a few.